Happy Friday, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, can I just tell you that I love to see people wearing Calvary shirts and Calvary hats and having, you know, Calvary stickers on their car, even Calvary masks, if you're still wearing masks. Uh, I just love that everywhere I go to, to see people with those on. And, and I love wearing Calvary shirts myself. I'd wear them every day, except uh, Meralda would frown on that, so I don't. Uh, but here's what I know. Not everyone who wears a Calvary shirt or a Calvary hat or has a Calvary sticker on their car actually represents Jesus the way we want him to or even represents Calvary the way that we want them to. Uh, it, when you have that shirt or that sticker, that hat on, that is a, an outward expression. It's an outward identification only. Uh, Genesis 17 explains the covenant of circumcision between God and Abraham and Abraham's descendants. In, in other words, God said, Abraham, here's what I want you to do, and I want you to do this for all of your descendants. I want you to circumcise all the males, and this is a sign of our covenant. It's an external sign of the covenant between me and and you and all your descendants. So all of the Jewish males were circumcised. It was an outward sign of belonging to the people of God. And then after Jesus' death and resurrection and he ascended to heaven, the Apostle Paul, who was an extremely religious Jew, extremely devout, who became a follower of Jesus dramatically, he's writing to the church in Rome and he says, look, faith in and of itself not your bloodline, but faith makes you a child of Abraham. Faith makes you a part of Abraham's family, not your lineage. That's a radical idea. And then he goes on to say in chapter 2 of, of the book of Romans that circumcision isn't an external sign, but it's an internal sign. Let's listen to what he says. This is radical. Uh, he says, For no one is a Jew who is merely one outwardly, nor is circumcision outward and physical, but a Jew is one inwardly, and circumcision is a matter of the heart, by the Spirit, not by the letter. His praise is not from man, but from God. Uh, that's a radical idea expressed by a, a Jewish believer in Jesus in the first century. Now, here's, here's our takeaway. In our church, we love to celebrate baptism. Uh, I love it when people say, hey, I, I'm a believer in Jesus and I want to tell the world that I'm an unashamed follower of Jesus Christ. And you guys are there. You see when we uh, baptize in the church, in the services, you see when we baptize at the lake. Uh, I love that. It's always like my favorite moments because people are saying, I love Jesus and I want the world to know. But can I tell you this? Baptism is an external sign of belonging to Jesus. Baptism doesn't save you. Why? Because it's not evidence of a heart change in and of itself. See, you become a child of God. You become a follower of Jesus when you make a decision on the inside that Jesus is your Lord and your Savior and, and you ask Him to forgive you of your sins and that is what is most important to you. But I can't see your heart. I can't see your will. I don't know what decision you've made. You and God know that. And so I pray today that Hopefully, you've expressed your faith in Christ in baptism. If not, let us know. We'd love to help you get baptized. But even more importantly than that, I pray that in your heart, you've made that life-changing commitment to follow Jesus. And you know that the Holy Spirit has circumcised your heart. I hope that helps. God bless Calvary. Have a beautiful day.